man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not even moving a muscle. Loki, that's how that's how my meat be looking when I beat it, bro. It don't be doing nothing, bro. I'm sitting there for 45 minutes stroking my shit. Oh, I end up having rubbing burns, and then now half of my dick is white because I scrubbed the meat off. What are we talking about? Busts up in Baki's house, and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Oh. He breaks into his son's room while he's about to lay pipe? But yeah, yeah, I've been putting off this video for a minute. The most disrespectful moments in anime history. This Yujiro, whoever this irrelevant ass nigga is. What did you say, nigga? I have no clue who this bum is. But apparently, apparently he's uh disrespectful enough to get 2.3 million views. So, so I'm about to I'm about to be caught up with this relevancy on or irrelevancy or whoever this man is. And this was not this is not turned up at all. Man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor. Wait, hold up. Is he? Uh, I thought I saw. I thought I could. Oh man, he actually is packing, bro. That bulge is something serious. That was real gay, my nigga. Cut that out. With one hand and threw him across the floor and just <laughs> knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. Literally spazzed. Oh, he got this. Oh, he got put into a concussion. That man, that man got a case of the G. That was almost bad. That was almost bad. I need someone to make me an intro like this, man. Something nice and chill, you know? All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is finally time for the most disrespectful moments in anime history, too. Now, you see, this one is going to be a little different. So usually, we would have multiple mm. characters from multiple animes in the video. But today, we're gonna be focusing on one character. Now, I know some of y'all are probably wondering, CJ, why are you only focusing on one character in this video? Well, uh, how do I put this? Uh -huh. The man that we are about to talk about might damn well be the most disrespectful man in anime history. Let's look, let's talk about that thin waistline, bro. Oh! What is going on here? That is literally how a Greek god is built. There, This is a One Piece character. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Yujiro Hanma is a wealthy black air force. Like, dog, this nigga's on demon timing 24-7. From slapping bitches to beating the fuck out of his own son. Nigga Wait, so slapping bitches now is demon time? Where's my black force energy? Where's my black force energy spot, bro? What do you mean by that? Out here fighting a polar bear for fun. Like, this man's nickname is the strongest creature on earth. Peep how they said creature instead of human. Oh, isn't this Baki's dad? I watched the one episode of Baki before I... <laughs> You know, you feel me? Because Baki was <laughs> type shit. I think that looked like his dad, though. Man, Captain, look at this I don't nigga. know. Yeah, that's his dad. Got yeah. Zero point zero one percent body fat. Okay. And he has absolutely no bulge. That's probably why he's so angry. This, this man only wants to be a menace because he has no penis, bro. Look at that. Look, bro. They, there is nothing going on here, man. Nigga. This man got zero point zero one percent body bad for him. fat. A jawline gifted from Jesus himself. His back is a literal second torso. You got a six pack on your back, nigga. Yeah, I understand why they call him creature now. Like, if you get compared to Bigfoot's fat ass, you you use literally just. I don't know, nigga. You just built different on oh, some freaky ass shit. Oh, but I can hear some of y'all already typing in the comment section right now. Hey, hey, yo, CJ. <laughs> why that nigga not at the round table yet, cuz? Listen, 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 listen. I know Yujiro has been the most requested person to be in the round table of Black Air Force activity. Besides, yeah. like, guts. Well, you want to know why it took me so long to do this? Because, you see... This man has done so much heinous ass shit that ah. I cannot give him a regular trial. Like dead ass, I would run out of exhibits. So I was like, all right, bro. So he, this man is really like that. Like he really, he's really like that type of guy. Absolutely. But he's irrelevant, bro. Like no one's heard of him. So how's he that? I'm just, just shut up. That's all you gotta fucking do. It's not hard. Shut your fucking ass up. Just shut the fuck up. Just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up gonna have to give him a whole most disrespectful moments in anime history episode to himself because this is the only way i could do it because it's gonna be a lot bro like i'm probably not even gonna be able to add everything on here so anything i leave off just tell me and i'm gonna just put them in other parts so everybody sit back relax grab some popcorn lace up your black ones and uh let's get started 
So to understand the philosophy of Yujiro Hanma's disrespectful ways, we have to go all the way back. So far back, the main character ain't even born yet. I'm talking oh, about we have to go shit. all the way back. So far back. I'm not gonna lie to y'all guys. I've honestly like this stream alone. We've been seeing a lot of thick ass men, bro. I'm talking about 1973 in the Vietnam War. This man was fighting in a whole ass war with his bare hands at the age of 16. That's Nigga, light this work. Is like the equivalent of running around in war zone with your bare fists and just beating the shit out of everybody. <laughs> this fucking took guerrilla warfare to a whole nother level on some pure ass Rambo type shit. So while he's in Vietnam, he meets this girl named Jane, and she out here trying to throw that ass back. She tried to. How are they in the middle of a little field? She is seducing a 16 year old. She's a pedophile. Deuce the hell out of this man. She like, you wanna get laid, nigga? Oh, you scared? Or maybe you still haven't experienced a woman yet. And look at this man, he like He's uh, not having it. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> then he just turns around and walks away, bruh. Man, it's like, I'm not about this bullshit today. But she still keep on running her mouth and talking shit. So the moment she turned around, this man Yujiro came right behind her back and said, Shall I tear your skull out right here? Homie was dead ass about oh, to peel the skin shit. off of this bitch. And look at her. No, I think it's even more Black Force because he waited until she turned around. He didn't even care to have her, like, you know, like, be face to face. Oh, yeah, that's she wild. Like, Damn, this nigga got two fingers in my mouth. Then this man just pimp slaps her like 20 yards, gave her a whole lecture, then walked out into the sunset. But nah, you thought this man was like, done Jesus in Vietnam? Christ. Nah, he was just getting started. This man goes on to kill a whole ass general on some Cobra Ops type shit. And to disguise himself so he could enter the base, he ripped off the general's face in. He ripped off his face and put it on? Are you serious? That man's insane. He's ridiculous. What is that? Dude, why? Like, how does he, like... Ugh. You, you feel me? Like, ugh. Use it as a mask. So then this man just runs wild. Just oh my god. Killing every single person in his path. Busting through ceilings and shit. So then Jane pops back up and she's like, listen, nigga, I got some TNT and I'm about to blow this bitch sky high. Whoa. So they're escaping you, Jiro stops. She's like, what the fuck, nigga? Why you stop? And he just stands there and just eats the entire explosion. Then he pimp slaps old girl again. And he figures out that she's a whole ass UN agent named Diane. That's leading. Okay, I was so lost. Wait, but he ate an explosion. Is that what we eating now? We, we just eating bombs and shit. Oh, delicious song. him into a whole trap. So she tried to kill him, but obviously, uh, that ain't gonna work, honey. So how did he make her pay for this? Uh, well, he gave her that redo of the healer treatment. Oh. Yep, this nigga's a menace. Yep. This, this nigga is a menace. But. So after he gives her the googlies, this man uses her as a body shield, then just kills everybody outside and breaks this nigga's neck with one hand. So all girl holds this man up at gunpoint, trying to kill him again. Then this man flash the whole demon back at her and just look at her face, bruh. Just in pure shock. She like, damn. I'm really about to have that nigga's kid. And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack Hanma was born. Oh, but guess what? That was just the first son. Wait, really? And ladies and gentlemen, that is how Jack- Oh, wow. so he's a he's a great baby. What do you call that? A baby that was, oh my God. He's a gravy. Oh. Oh yeah, this, this nigga wild, bro. This nigga's wild. He's chewing nails, bro. This reminds me of that Spongebob e episode. He eat nails for breakfast. I had a bowl of nails for breakfast this morning. <laughs> yes, so? Without any milk. I eat nails, cereal, yeah, nails for breakfast. I'm pretty Guess sure. What? That was just the first one. Shit, we gotta go over how to make The first one. one. <clears throat> Meet Emmy. Baki's Ooh. crazy ass, weird ass mom. Like, for a line, gonna count this bitch is weird as hell. But Did she just make out with her son? Did she just make out with her son? That's Black Force energy. That is that is the darkest of forces. Dark Vader would come in this room and bust in here right now talking about how dark that shit is. What the fuck? But ladies and gentlemen, she always wasn't a crazy ass bitch. No, no, you see, back in the day, she was in a very happy relationship with a rich nigga. She was enjoying her life on a honeymoon. So then that night, they go to a party, right? And guess who's there? On a honeymoon, too? Staring her ass down. 
while she with her man's at a party. And look at her, bro. She is mesmerized. It's like he's digging. So they stare. So he, he got like that. He has like a sharring under his eyes. He just makes them delusional for him. Her down with just what his the hell? Eyes. So then the husband just sees her just straight up staring at him. And then he just <laughs> She looks terrified. Oh, my Lord. Ass, God damn, in front of the party, nigga? So then this man confronts Yujiro and he's talking mad shit. Niggas like, your fashion sense, ass. Your cut, ass. Your ass. Your Ooh. shoes, ass. Your Ooh. demeanor, ass. Then he just throws a whole plate of soup on my nigga. So Yujiro's like, oh, you want to get disrespectful? All right, I could get real disrespectful real quick. So he just leans in and kisses his wife. <laughs> I thought he was about to beat dude's ass. Obviously, that's later. But this is wild. This is wild. But he is untouchable. He took down an army. How does everyone not know who he is? If he took down an army by himself and took out a war general, there is no way they're not going to know who he is. Like, that's that's just not how it works. So, homie gets mad and he's like, all right, bro, I'm going to let this dude handle you. But we all know th this nigga ain't going to do shit. So, you general just gives him the nastiest axe kick and just drills his face into the ground. Just completely one shot at home. Embarrassing old dude even more and giving his wife the old giddy giddy. So she is terrified, bro. Why is she so scared? He goes back to his hotel all mad and shit because he got made to look like a whole ass beta male in front of his wife. So then he trying to take out his anger on his wife and shit. But this man Yujiro pulls up in the hotel room. Just out. What does Yujiro do? Like, what does he do, like, in life, bro? Like, like, what did he do? What does he do on a day-to-day -day basis, bro? Because why is he just everywhere? He doesn't need to re be worried about. Why are you at another girl? Like, what? Why did she pull up? Like, why are you so interested in her? Because her dress matched her eye color. I think she was wearing red, maybe. But she looked so shook when she was staring, bro. Like, Yajiro, bro. Get off her meat. Out of nowhere. Man, it's like, hey, girl, I came to see you. In homeboy's room. So then dude runs over to the phone all scared and shit. Like, hey, yo, security, where the fuck y'all niggas at? Somebody come help me. And well, uh, security. He beat up security to see this girl? Oh. Wow. Oh. Oh. Them niggas knocked the fuck out. So old dude pulls a gun on him, but we all know what happens when you try to pull a gun on this nigga. He grabs him with one hand and breaks his neck while still flirting at the... Oh my god. Oh, sh okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. This, this is... This is... This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Oh my god. If I saw his backstory first when I was watching Baki, I would have maybe finished the show. I would have been interested enough to finish the show. This is not what I saw when I saw Baki. I saw Baki's lame ass. He wasn't interested in me. So I, you know, fell asleep on that bitch. Same time. And look at her. She liked that. Oh, she a freak. Oh, she so was. She's like ridiculous. Let me give you well, this. she does make out with her son. We talk real quick. I want to break your back so goddamn hard right now. Shit, I might even break your back so goddamn hard. I might even kill you one day. Give birth to my child so I can have a He fucked her so hard that she dies? No. Or the opponent in the future. No. But yeah, uh, that's how Baki was born. So when Yujiro first makes his first appearance in the anime, this man is jumping out of a whole ass helicopter and just blasts himself into a room, not giving a fuck about property damage at all. So he comes in when Baki was fighting Hanayama. And look at that bro with a whole smile on his face. He's like, what's good, nigga? Homie deadass said, good, I made it in time. Looks like you just got started. Y'all niggas only got scratches right now. And the fight is already over. But this man Yujiro's like, nigga, if I don't see blood, the shit didn't even start. He just straight oh up tells God. Baki, nigga, you soft. And he's just yeah. laughing his ass off. So then Hanayama's like, all right, bro, I'll fight you. But my, my nigga, you shouldn't have said that shit. Why would he want to fight dude's dad? That's just not, that's just not the smartest decision. Like, like, if we just speak from a logical standpoint, that's just not the smart thing well, to do. <laughs> Man literally picked up this big ass nigga with one hand and threw him across the floor and just knocks him into the wall. So Baki's like, all right, bro, enough is enough, nigga. So he comes running in just to get that signature back. He literally spams his whole body out. So before he leaves, he picks up Hanayama again and he's like, let me get in one last lick. Then he punches his whole face and to finish the job that he already finished. Then he's like, this was a waste of time. Y'all niggas are sorry, I'm leaving. Why is everything about him swole? Like, why is his face swole? What type of, what type of mouth exercise is what type of penis does he be sucking to make his face look like that, bro? What are we talking about? He has to be sucking gargantuan people. This man is actually built different. So then he goes see Emmy's crazy ass. <laughs> she just starts trying to beat him, but he ain't even moving. What? <laughs> ah, 
Then he just pushes her down and he's like, bitch, I told you to raise my son to be strong as hell. That nigga weak as fuck. So then she tried to shake him, but he was like, cut that shit out. <laughs> Yo, this man is like completely ruined her. So why did she, why did he, why is she so interested in him if this is how she acts? Like he must have blasted her brains out of something. So after all that goes down, Baki's like, all right, bro, I gotta fight my dad at this point. So the night before the fight, Emmy's like, shit, let me go see what that nigga Yujiro doing real quick. So she's watching this man train in the hotel room, right? So she's like, mm, let me touch up on that nigga. Oh, he nah. just grabs her whole face and just pushes her back. Look at this nigga. He's like, bitch, the fuck? Don't approach me until I tell you to approach me. You better hope to God Baki can fight me no more or else your ass is grass to me. So Damn. she's like, I'll stay tonight. And he said, nah, bitch, get the fuck out. Bro, look at her. This nigga Yujiro has absolutely broken her mind at this point. She looks, she looks like a crackhead. Yep, she she been doing crack. That is a crackhead wall. That's a crackhead look. It also looks like something else, but but we're gonna we're gonna chill around here. We're not Trey. We're not Trey Rags. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why your hand up? What you? What you trying to get into? What you trying to start right now? What? We're gonna we're gonna censor ourselves. Bitch, she just starts beating up on Baki like, why won't he love me? What oh the hell? God, I told y'all this bitch was weird. She out here beating up her own son because her husband won't love her. Shit, my boy Baki got the most fucked up family I've ever seen. This, Shit, I don't this know is a weird ass family. At this point, the Hanmas, the Mishimas, or the Skywalkers. So then Baki and Yujiro finally fight, but. Dear God, bro. It wasn't was close. Ass whooping I'll probably ever see in. This man was literally eating every single punch he threw at him. Not even moving a muscle. Loki, that's how that's how my meat be looking when I beat it, bro. It don't be doing nothing, bro. I'm sitting there for 45 minutes stroking my shit. Oh, I end up having rubbing burns, and then now half of my dick is white because I scrubbed the meat off. What are we talking about? Standing there, he's sucks, literally bro. complimenting everybody for thank you for raising him like this, guys. Y'all actually made him kind of strong. So then this nigga's like, all right, bro, it's time to eat. So he just starts wailing on him. Damn. He knocked him out and started beating his face into the ground over and uh, over, uh, constantly just beating the hell out of him. And everybody's uh, just watching this like, God damn, that's that nigga old son. So then the mom's like, all right, okay, I've been being what the fuck? This the whole time. This nigga's beating the fuck out of my Oh son. my so God. She started trying to swing on Yujiro, but dear God, baby girl. So she started biting him and shit. So then Yujiro gives her a whole bear hug and he's like, remember when I told you that one day I might break your back so goddamn hard it might even kill you? He killed, he kills his wife? He kills his wife? Today's the day, bitch. He kills his wife? This man literally killed his wife and beat the hell out of his son in one night. And after that, oh my god, oh shit. Okay. Yep. Yep. Oh my. I don't know how to process that. I don't know how. I don't know how to get my mind across. His son is laying there with a dead mother on his back, and the reason why his mom is dead is because he couldn't beat up his dad. What? Where's the blonde chick at? Where's the blonde chick? Where's she at? Hopefully she's still fine. After she's had her, oh god. He's like, y'all niggas wanna have fun too? He just starts beating the hell out of him and watching it. But after he killed his wife and dead ass just beat the fuck out of his son, Yujiro just goes around just doing his daily life, doing his daily activities, just disrespecting people. Homie went up into a boxing gym, started throwing shit around. Literally this man has nothing to do. Punches away, throws his ass down and just beats everybody up at the gym. He but has nothing better to do. The prime Minister's office, literally beat the brakes off of his entire security. He has what? nothing to do, bro. This man is ridiculous. While he was doing this, he took a break and smoked a cigarette. Like, look at them, bro. They surrounded him with riot shields and everything and couldn't do Free shit. Nigga just hit the dash. Breaks ah. both of their arms. Buses into his office and he's like, hey nigga, your security is ass. And also, fuck your dick. And then we go into the next arc. I'm so scared, bro. I don't know what to expect, bro. Revenge for this dude killing my mom. So when Yujiro's confront Jack, he's like, hey nigga, you kinda strong. Now fight me, nigga. But then Baki comes in and he intervenes. So then Yujiro's like, nigga, if you don't get the fuck up on that, boy, I ain't got time for your soft ass connections. Yo, Baki really Baki's really a bitch like this, bro. Like Baki not doing nothing, bro. He's just getting he just eating hits. And also on the same arc he fights Dopo, reveals his one percent body fat demon back. He's to live and piss out of him, also taking the nigga's eye and knocked him out standing up. So after all that goes down, fight Muhammad Ali. Wait, wait, that was that was his fall. Like that was on his end. It shows him yeah. his son across the planet. Like 
before he sent that little nigga flying. Then he buzzes up at Baki's house and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Yeah. Okay. Now, when you first wait, no, 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 no. I, I, like, wait, no, 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 no. That's not what happened. What? He buzzes up at Baki's house and he's like, hey, nigga, I see you about to do hey, it with yo, your girl and shit. Okay. He breaks into his son's room while he's about to lay pipe. So he he's he's a mother killer. A, he's he's a wife killer. A cock block. This man's an asshole. Who raised him? Who's his dad? That's what I need to know. Where is his dad okay. at? Now when you first see this and you're like, oh my god, this is the ultimate cock block. This man is literally standing over them while him and his girl are about to get it on. And he is dead ass encouraging them to do this shit. He's like, yes, Baki, blow her back out. Blow her back out like I did your mother. It'll make you stronger than ever. And I'm just watching that shit like, what? Guys, if y'all want to be extremely strong, fuck. That's all you gotta do. You hit fucking train. Did this nigga just really encourage his son to beat the fuck out of her cheeks? Because it'll make him stronger? What in the hell? Then Baki's like, bruh, why are you in here, nigga? And yo, this man dead ass says this. You're pretty funny, you know that, kid? A girl sneaks into your room, comes on to you, and you tremble with fear. If that's your idea of closing the deal, I'll never be a granddad. <laughs> Yo, this man just took the What shot is this man talking about? So Facts. This no, 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 that is true. The no, no, why does no harem protagonist ever make a move on a girl, bro? Why are they all like puss, puss bitch? Like, why are they all like that? And why do other girls fall for that type of guy? It's like, I give you my blessing, then just leaves. So then we cut to this fight with multiple. Do y'all think they smashed that night? I mean, the dad broke in. Had a conversation, said I give y'all my blessing, and, and Ben Yannick. Now Malta Bay has won the fight. He cut off old poison dude's hand and's like, hey nigga, that's a rap. Concede, nigga, you lost. So then just out of the blue, this nigga Yujiro just comes out of nowhere. He's like, hey, nigga, what? what's the so this man pulls his sword on him like he gonna do something. But then this man Yujiro does the most demoralizing thing I've ever seen in an anime. He started laughing, grabbed his sword, and started breaking it into pieces. One by one with his thumb Slowly. look at this nigga's with face. his thumb this is just the face of a uh, nigga i'm fucked that, that just drains all of your confidence that is like the biggest you ain't shit thing that I... you could ever do to somebody so then this man yujiro pulls up on yanagi and he's like hey nigga you lost. So then Shibukawa pulls up and he's like, hey, bro, what the fuck are y'all doing out here? It's late as hell. Then Yujiro's like, shit, nigga, you right. I'm tired. I'm going home. But not at the end. Like, what's wrong with him? What is wrong? Stupid ass. What was his childhood? He blasted his face. Homie knocked the fuck out and just. What was his it childhood? Off. You didn't lose. So that meant you were up for my challenge. Man literally had to get in one lick before he left. So then Look at his forearms, bro. His forearms are so about as big as his waist. My challenge. Man, literally his forearms are about as big as his waist, bro. He had to get in one lick before he left. And his hands are humongous. So then we get to the right tie tournament. <sighs> and Lord have mercy. Ooh, I'm going to have to censor this part so hard. This man ripped off this nigga's face. <laughs> He literally dug his fingers into his f***ing face and flung that shit. And just I don't know how much, I don't know how much I can handle. I don't know, I don't know. And, and he has him arching like crazy, bro. Look at this angle. He has a fat ass, but he doesn't have a face. He doesn't have, oh my God. Oh my God. And people just, they don't let him roam around, but literally no one can do nothing about him. Like, y'all can't get a group of the strongest fighters besides him to- Straight up, busted his face. Then he threw his face into the crowd. Oh my god, that's fucking disgusting. But after that, homie comes for round two, but nigga, why would you come for round two against this nigga? Exactly. Finally, to I guess finish the job. I mean, the job was already finished, but shit. He had to finish it again. So then he sees Baki backstage and he's like, Dad, I think I can take you now. <laughs> this man, Yujiro, was looking at him like, Really, nigga? Just throws him through the wall. Man was like, You ain't shit. Damn. You still ain't shit. <laughs> so then he fights the old OG for the last fight. And I ain't gonna lie, old OG was landing some punches. Mm -hmm. But this nigga, Yujiro, did not care that he was beating the fuck out of a senior citizen. Because, God damn, he was <laughs> that ass. I mean, even though that the senior citizen. They were, they were. Homie they, oh. That demon back in there, God, it was a wrap. Made the motherfucker kick the bucket in the middle of the fight. Somehow that man came back to life. I don't know if they got the. He died during the fight and came back. 
What type of Jesus ish is that? Dragon Balls or some shit, but that's one lucky ass OG. I'll tell you that. Well, uh, I guess all the evidence just goes ahead and uh, just proves it that uh, my man Yujiro has finally entered the round table of Black Air Force activity. Like, I think it might be safe to say that this man might be the most disrespectful man in anime history. Uh, I don't know. You know, if he was given the label as the most disrespectful anime character in anime history, I wouldn't be mad. I, I wouldn't be mad. Like, sure, there's other characters that did bigger and badder, but the, 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 like, being able to visually see what this man is doing is absolutely ridiculous. Oh, he ripped his face off? He graped a girl? And then, and then killed her generals? He broke his wife's back and threw her on her, on his, on, on his son? I think I'm gonna have to end the stream there, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow, cause this is just ridiculous, man. I hope y'all enjoyed, though. I have a video to finish editing, and it's kinda late, so.